<laughs> We're here today for a continuing legal education seminar for uh, attorneys, uh, defense attorneys, prosecutors, and judges were invited. But the purpose of the, the seminar is to learn about the proposed changes in the Ohio Department of Health regulations that relate to uh, drug and alcohol testing, um, most commonly associated with DUI or what we now call OVI, operating a vehicle impaired arrest. Spring break. We have some some people that we brought in to consume alcohol this morning um, at varying doses, for the primary purpose of having them blow into both the Data Master, uh, which is one of the instruments actually manufactured here in, in Ohio, in Mansfield, Ohio, as well as this new instrument, the Intoxilizer 8000. One of the reasons we want them to blow is to see if the uh, tests are are similar or identical. Um, also plan to introduce some mouth alcohol to see if uh, the, the machines register introduction of mouth alcohol on top of alcohol that had been consumed or what should be coming out of the deep lung portion uh, of their breath. I tested three different times and uh, all three tests were different. Um, the test was higher if I blew longer into the machines and it was lower if I blew for a shorter duration. If I was uh, pulled over and, and accused of drinking, I would definitely not take a breathalyzer test.